okay, I really needed this. <laughs> this is my treat tonight. Bourbon Barrel Quad from, uh, from Boulevard, special release. And uh, let's see the APV on this. Yeah, 11.8. Uh, beer was um, aged in uh, oak and bourbon, uh, bourbon barrels. Uh, for varying length of time, and I think it's from what I remember on the website, it was combined later, and uh, it was uh, up to three years, some of it was aged, they, they added cherries later, and then the prominent flavor, there should be uh, toffee and vanilla. So, let's see. All right, we got that. Got that one off. That was a tough one. <laughs> Very oaky. Exceptionally oaky. Oh, I can see the damn smoke coming out of this. I hope you can see that up there. Okay. Rather a large head. Caramel, light tea color actually. Three finger head. Let's see what the temp is. Shouldn't be too cold. Come on. Yeah, not bad. It's about 50, it's about right, 50 to 55. This heavy cherry, but it's it's like cherry and oak. I mean, this is oak central here. I'm getting a little bourbon. This is really fucking oaked out. Oaky from Muscogee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. The mouth feel is is not very carbonated. It's kind of in the medium. This is complex as hell. Cherries and oak. Cherry and oh, here comes another fruit fly. I thought I killed them all. Cherries and oak. Some bourbon. The bourbon's not all that prevalent, but it's it's there. What's really incredible about this beer? is it's a really fucking good mix. I mean, this is a balance to this. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you get a bourbon uh, beers, you know, there'll be a pre overwhelming presence of bourbon. It's not, it's all these elements are very, very well mixed in together. The cherry, the vanilla, the oak, the bourbon. This, my friends, is a great beer. I see why the bros gave it a hundred on Beer Advocate. Uh, I never give the beer a hundred. <laughs> this is a 95 plus. And this could be really cellared. But as it's as it's warming up even even further, I'm getting a 
Let me let me explain that. It's lightening up, but there's even is more subtle cherry and subtle oak. So what you're going to get is subtlety when it warms up. All right, this is a winner. As I said before, it's about 95 plus. Uh, get this. Maybe get an extra bottle of the cellar. It's one of the better beers I've had from them for a long time. I, mean, I love almost all their beers. So, here's to the craft beer movement. Here's to American beer. And believe me, if we were having this conversation 40 years ago, some of you weren't even born, you wouldn't even think this would come around. Because I'm a pre-Sam Adams guy. I remember when it came out. I remember when Rolling Rock was considered good. I agree. So, until the next time my friends find the great beers, we're damn lucky you're living in a great era. Cheers. I am a